It's almost as if God's source creator is calling you towards something, but they're not giving you all of the information. And that's not, that's not out of the ordinary. And what I'm getting here is the method by which you can move forward towards this calling really doesn't matter at all. Like how you get there is not important to us is what spirit is saying. The universe, God's source creator is saying. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your moment, whenever, uh, for whenever you're guided to watch this reading. Yes, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment uh, because this is a timeless reading, okay? So, hey, it's a timeless reading. Yeah, please take what resonates. Also, it's a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm kind of all over the place this morning with this whole like intro situation. I don't know why. Um, in true to form, as soon as I start, as soon as I start recording, I start itching. Anyway, um, hi guys. Happy Monday. Uh, if you're watching this on the Monday, if you're catching this on the Monday, it's good to see you all. I hope you, I hope you have had a fabulous weekend. Um, Yeah, I really don't have anything to say. So then let's just get started. Hold on, let me pause first. It, no, literally, you guys, as soon as I started recording and started talking, I got itchy. Anyway, let's move forward here. Um, I don't really have anything that I want to say to before we start, so let's just get into it, yes? Uh, we're going to be using the Tarot Mucha deck today, and then I'll be using the uh, Los Carabello for clarification. And then, as always, we will cross the Oracle Bridge when we get there, yeah? Excellent. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Woo! Okay, you guys, let's get into this. I'm gonna give this five shuffles here and we will get started. Yeah? Here we go. One. Four in the collective. God source creator, angels of love and light, spirits of love. This is two. And uh, angels, way showers, guides, please provide us with the best guidance we can. You can at this time. This is three. You know, um, I'm having a desire lately. Uh, this just came through today. Well, actually, you know what? Let's talk about this. This is four. So um, my focus is shifting here in these sessions. Uh, and this is five. And this is something that um, that I recently came to a definition of this morning because of, you know, my own evolutionary process um, and how I'm moving forward on my path. Um, and there's a moment, I, I had a moment, um, I'm having a moment where I'm deciding or I'm defining, not deciding, I'm defining how I move forward on my path. What does that mean for me and what does that look like? And, um, <laughs> Actually, this is a good thing that I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, jeez, hold on. Okay, guys, I'm going to do my best to get through this. I literally don't know what it is this time <laughs> that's got my allergies uh, 
on um, the Fritz. Uh, I put on this t-shirt this morning. I, wa I, I wasn't able to get to my closet. Um, as you guys know, last week I figured out or I came to, I, I deduced that there's something going on in my closet that I've got to, there's something in the closet that needs to come out. <laughs> Um, but I wasn't able to, I, did, I didn't get a chance to do that this weekend because by the time I got to the point where I could do it, I only got one lo load of laundry done and it's still hanging out there because it's been raining. Um, so I haven't been able to, to handle that. But so I put this t-shirt on this morning thinking like, okay, wait, am I gonna, am I gonna be okay? And I was, but it wasn't until I sat down here and literally had pressed record and started talking. That's when my allergies started to flare. So like the conspiracy theorist in me is partially thinking, conspiracy theorist, is partially thinking that maybe this is some sort of energetic sabotage. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not going to let that stop me. So we're going to get through this. So what I was saying earlier is that um, I'm in a phase or I'm in a period right now where I'm really trying to understand what it is my path is. And... Um, I've been talking a lot about these paths where we have the path of service to self, the path of, the path of service to others, and then there's another path that I learned of through Sam, Sam, Sam the Illusionist, who I found recently, and I feel like somebody a long time ago mentioned his name to me. It, was, it must have been years ago or something or something like that, but, and I'm just now thinking of it. But anyway... Um, Sam the Illusionist channeled Archangel Michael in a certain session and Archangel Michael talked about this other path or this like second path we could say even though there's a path of service to others and the path of service to self right he was considering it to be a second path but like okay we can call it a third path whatever call it whatever you want but it's the path of service to God source creator and that path I mean walking the path of service to self is not going to get you very far Walking the path of service to others um, will get you into the fourth dimension. Walking the path of service to God, source, creator will help you jump right into the fifth dimension. Uh, but that path is harder to walk because you're literally doing what it is God is calling you to do. You're allowing uh, God, source, the energies of God, source, creator, the universe, the one true creator, all that is... All, the source of all life and all that, the source of all existence. You're allowing the creative energies of sorts to flow through you. And that often is not easy. Um, and from what I can understand from it, it's not easy because, especially when it comes to like society, that could be messy, right? Okay. Um, so I am trying to define my path. I'm trying to understand where it is I'm going. And I've decided that I really want to make these sessions um, about God, uh, about Source. Um, I'm not religious. For those of you that are fairly new to me, I'm not religious, um, but I definitely believe in God. I'm definitely spiritual. I grew up Catholic, but I don't really identify with that any longer because I don't identify with religion any longer. And if you are religious or you still walk a religious path and you're here, that's great. This, I mean, you're welcome here too. That's the thing. It's not about religion. It's about source. It's about spirit. And I really want to make these sessions. I'm seeing how, I'm seeing how the these paths can show themselves in this, we'll call it profession, right? It is a profession. Okay. Um, the path of service to self would be doing all the things that feed your ego and try to get views and, and try to just for money and all that stuff, that's path of service itself. The path of service to others can be seen as um, coming forward and appeasing or speaking to the egos or playing to the egos of those that are willing to listen, right? That's the path of service. That could be a, a level of the path of service to others. And especially depending on where your alignment is in terms of that, what your intentions are. You could either be playing to the egos of people and thus manipulating them to get them on your side and to, to, to get them to provide you with what it is you want, path of service to self. Or you could be playing to their egos 
by giving them a little bit of what they want, but then underlying it with, with empowering messages and all that stuff. That's the path of service to others, right? Okay. Meeting people where they are. Okay, cool. And then there's the path of service to source or service to God. And that's kind of what I want to make this about. I'm not the type of person to feed your ego. I'm not. I'm not here to feed your ego. I'm here to help you gain a better relationship with God's source creator. Gain a better relationship with yourself. Learn about yourself. Empower yourself. Or at least influence you to learn about yourself. Influence you to ask those hard questions. And that can be seen as a path of service to self, right? But I really want to make this about channeling for God's source creator. What messages does source have for us? What would source want to say if they're sitting, if they were physically, I mean, it's so weird to say it that way. If they were physically embodied, they are through us. Okay. But for three dimensional purposes, if God source creator were sitting right here in front of you in all of, in a blaze and all of its glory, what would they say to you? What conversation would they want to have with you? What would they want to talk with you, speak with you about? That's what these sessions are about. I'm not exactly sure why I wanted to say that. I wanted to, but I, other than the fact that I wanted to give you guys some insight into my process so far, but I guess also to set the intention, right? And to help you guys understand what the intention is here. Okay. Okay, I like that. Also, I'm using, again, my new cup, my new mug, Unicorn Jaw, and nobody can stop my magical ass. Look at that shit. Hey, all right. <laughs> okay. John, not Jaw, John, sorry. <coughs> all right, guys. So let's get into this here. God, source, creator, angels of love and light, spirit, what would you like to discuss with us? Today. That's enough right there. Okay, we're going to start here. Okay, we have judgment at the bottom of the deck. All right, we're starting with judgment here. We do have the Ace of Wands to the Six of Swords to the Four of Swords. And then also we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. And the King of Wands. Oh, oh Lord, this is really interesting. Um, I did not see, I did not know the King of Wands was there under the Queen of Cups. But he is. All right, so it looks like there is an action. There's some sort of inspiration that's coming through here for you. There's some sort of calling. There's either a calling or um, some sort of inspiration. Something that you want to go after, something that you want to move forward with, or maybe just this is a way, an understanding, a way for you to move forward. Okay. Ace of Wands, Six of Swords. But yet there's still some deliberation about it. Four of Swords here. Now, the Four of Swords could represent you having thought long and hard about something. I feel like... Um, for the most part, this Four of Swords is actually still needing or wanting, desiring to think about it a little bit more. Um, and what I'm getting from this is maybe not necessarily think about whether you want to do it or not, because the Ace of Wands here really does feel like a strong sense of inspiration. Uh, but maybe it's thinking about how you want to move forward with this. I really, once we get into it, I really want to clarify the Four of Swords here. But then, um, so we'll do that in a second. You also have here the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. This is a really interesting combination. It's a, it's a steamy dynamic, right? Because fire and water creates steam. The water evaporates. Now, the steam can power things, okay? So it feels like your emotions and your passion are, are, are in the same, same boat, are on the same ship, are working in tandem, are in alignment with each other. And yet, I... I 
I still feel like there's something you need to think about or there's something that you want to think about or maybe you're just taking your time because because what I'm seeing here, I, I'm seeing with the Six of Swords, I'm seeing that there is a way forward. You're seeing a way forward. You're perceiving of a way forward or you're coming up with a way forward. That's, that's the, okay, that's the inspiration here for you. Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands. The inspiration here is to move forward. But how do we do that? Four of Swords. I mean, there are a plethora of different options for you, I would imagine. And I did just hear that. I don't think... No, I was going to say, I don't think there is a shortage of ways that you can move forward. And obviously that's the case. The universe is infinite. The universe has infinite knowledge and is infinitely intelligent. intelligent. So there are millions, infinite ways that something can work out for you, that something can be brought forward for you, that you can move forward towards something. Okay. Okay. Remember, keep in mind, though, you do have judgment at the bottom of the deck. Underneath judgment, okay, is the moon to the knight of wands to the queen of pentacles to justice to death. The ten of pentacles. Six of cups. Queen of... Okay. Um, you have judgment to the moon here. And you know what's so funny? I've been working with this deck for a few days now, recently, and I mean, I used to work with it a lot before, but I just got back into it. And the moon keeps coming up. And it's funny because um, it kind of looks like she has a secret and like she's she's kind of laughing a little bit. It's almost as if she's, uh, uh, well, the camera isn't really focusing. But it's uh, as I've been looking at this card, it looks like, yeah, she has a secret, and, at, and and that makes sense because it's the moon, right? The moon is about is about secrecy or the unknown or things that aren't exactly as they seem. And it kind of looks like she's laughing a little bit. That's the vibe I've been getting from the moon lately. At least from this depiction of the moon. It's like there's a secret that that there's some sort of unknown energy here. It's almost as if the universe is calling you towards something. God's source creator is calling you towards something, okay? But they're not giving you all of the information. And that's not, that's not out of the ordinary. And what I'm getting here is the method by which you can move forward towards this calling really doesn't matter at all. Like... How you get there is not important to us, is what Spirit is saying. The universe, God's source creator is saying. It's kind of what I get with the moon. However, from your point of view, the energies of the moon, coupled with this judgment, this calling, right? For you, for you, in your perspective, the moon energy actually might be a little troublesome for you, might be a hurdle. But on be, but, but what I want to say is on behalf of God's source creator, it's really not as much of a hurdle as you might think. Again, I'm hearing there are millions of ways that you can do this, that you can move forward in this direction, that you can see this through, that you can accomplish this. I want to, um, I want to pull more energy on this situation before we move forward to the clarification, because I already know what I want to clarify. I want to clarify this four of swords, six of swords energy. I also want to clarify the queen of cups and the king of wands a little bit. Let's talk about this before we move forward. But then, but then I also want to pull more energy on this situation or more cards for this situation because there's a lot that feels unclear. I want some more, um, I want some more information on it before I move forward. But let's talk about this. The Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. Again, this feels like your emotions and your passion and your drive are in alignment with each other. 
you have the emotional wherewithal, you have the emotional stability, the emotional foundation, the emotional awareness. The emotional awareness that you want to move in a certain direction or that you're being called in a certain way. It's like you're empathically open to the message that the universe is sending. It's almost as if the music, the, 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 the music, the universe is sending out this call. And I just heard in, uh, in the sense of vibrational awareness. All right. So the universe or God source creator is sending out this call to action. But it's not really giving us the details yet. It's almost as if individuals are being energetically called upon but they're not being given the full details yet what i'm hearing is god source creator wants you to do this for them needs you to step up in some way but how it happens or the, the details of the situation are not being revealed yet they're still classified it's like the universe is throwing out this vibrational call to action to see who shows up. That's interesting. To see who shows up. And I'm hearing we're going to reward you. Okay. Sometimes I really, some, you guys, sometimes I really wonder if this channel is really just me regurgitating my whole life out to you <laughs> because this is literally what I'm going through right now. This call to action. How do I move forward? And I know that I have like, okay, so the queen of wands, I'm sorry, the queen of cups could be empathy, emotion, um, that nurturing side, telepathy, uh, psychic ability. That type of individual that sits there and reads cards for you and knows your whole life. Queen of Cups. Hello, that's me, right? King of Wands. Stepping up to the plate, excited to move forward in this adventure or feeling passionate, feeling... This is like the King of Wands is that... And the King of Wands is that energy that physically shows up and answers the call. The Queen of Cups is that background energy of emotional fortitude, emotional awareness. I don't know exactly how this is transpiring in your lives, you guys, but what the, but, but what I'm getting with this judgment to the moon, it's like, yes, judgment to the moon and then the knight of wands and then the queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So judgment to the moon is feeling like an energy of a call is going out, an, an APB is going out, okay? We're calling, well, maybe not an APB, but um, a call to action, call to arms, but the moon is like, the moon here is the energy of all of the details of the mission have not been disclosed yet. And I feel like that's because it's going to look differently for everyone. It's almost as like, this is why the universe is throwing out this call, asking or seeing and seeing who shows up. Because depending on who shows up, there's going to be a difference in how this plays out or how this mission is served by you or by the individual because all, it's all on an individual basis playing to the individual the strength of the individual what the individual has to offer queen of pentacles but it's still a call to arms for light workers knight of wands to bring justice and change and the ending of a cycle justice death ten of pentacles that involves the past Six of Cups, Queen of Swords. Okay. I really hope this is making sense, you guys. But for those who are hearing this call, it will make sense. I want to pull a little bit more on this energy. So what else can you say about this spirit? What else can you, what other definition or defining energies can you put, can you bring forward for us? in terms of understanding this energy, this situation, before we move forward to clarification, please.
anything else? Good Lord. All right, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, I was pulling cards for myself last night into yesterday. Well, no, yesterday. It was... Ugh, sorry, my allergies are... I'm getting distracted. Um, I was pulling cards for myself yes last night because I was going through this process of like what I said in the beginning. So this is why I talked about this in the beginning. Um, I'm in the process of defining how it is I want to move forward on my path. And giving most of the creative license to spirit, to God, to source. Okay? Like literally allowing my creative energy to flow or allowing my creative energy to flow with God, source, creators of cre creative energy, which is this one and the same really. But really focusing on allowing that to come through. But then with that, how does it play out? Right? Because I'm still the physical incarnation here. I'm still in this body. I still am this body. Like, yes, I have to make the decision in how things move forward or how I move forward with this. And all of the, uh, most of the cards that are coming out right now are cards that came out yesterday. Last night while I was pulling for myself. At the bottom of the deck right now, you have the Three of Wands, to the Seven of Pentacles, to the Lovers, to the Knight of Cups, and now to the King of Swords, to the Devil, to the Sun, to the Hanged Man. Good God. Okay. Uh, and what has come out here on the table is the King of Pentacles in reverse, which Spirit is saying is the Establishment or some sort of established energy, or some sort of stab established or well-rooted way of doing things. And then you have the Page of Cups, oh, I'm sorry, then you have, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles sandwiched in between the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. There is something brand new coming through. You are being, we are being guided to approach things in a radically different way than the way the establishment has done it. Queen, uh, I'm sorry, King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, page of wands, which is a new creative endeavor, a new um, a, a, a message being sent, a new way of identifying the page of cups. I love the way the page of cups is depicted in this card because he's like so like focused, focused. He's like yes. I, 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 there's some, it's just the, something about the confidence in him. I love it. I, it's hard. I couldn't even, I can't even describe it right now. But this to me is like the epitome of the inner child. The confidence that the inner child, that you're, a child comes into life with, right? Before it's tarnished by society. But like, whatever. Anyway, um, three of wands at the bottom. Of, I really hope I'm making sense right now, you guys. But you have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, underneath that is the Seven of Pentacles to the Lovers. Okay, so first and foremost, the Three of Wands is talking about our path moving forward. The momentum we've built up until now and what it is we're preparing to receive, right? Three of Wands. Seven of Pentacles are the lessons that we've learned in the past. Seven of Pentacles is definitely giving me an energy of, of um, you know, Einstein's definition of insanity, but leaving that behind. And then you have the lovers, which is about a choice. So on our paths right now, we are facing the choice of doing, this, doing things the same way over and over and over again, expecting something to change, or taking what it is that we've learned and walking away from that in order to choose to do something different or do something in a better way that is in more alignment with the heart chakra, the Knight of Cups, okay? Whether this is your heart chakra or a collective sense of the heart chakra, whatnot, whatever, the Knight of Cups represents the heart chakra to me. Underneath the Knight of Cups is the King of Swords to the devil, you guys. All right. So we have so 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 this is being plain, simple, and honest. Standing up and saying no to certain situations that are rooted heavily rooted in, the, in in establishment energies king of pentacles the status quo the way things are this is very much hierophant energy too uh in a certain sense 
But standing up to the devil with the king of swords, with truth, with honesty, with objectivity, not giving in to societal norms or societal standards in a sense, not giving in to toxicity, not giving in to over a codependency, being very truthful, very honest, very objective in terms of that. King of swords to the devil, to the sun, to the hanged man. The whole reason, the whole reason behind being called to make this change or being called to this challenge to choose instead of doing things the same old way to choose to follow the heart. Okay. The main reason for that is because of the perspective shift, whether in you or in the collective or both. I feel like we're being asked to do things in a new way because the perspective of the collective of people of society is changing and people are more susceptible to it now. Like for me, this is being reflected in the sense of me saying no to the toxicity, to the codependency, to the establishment, to the a certain established way of doing things, being told that I have to do something a specific way just to be successful. Why? Because it, it was successful in the past, seven of pentacles. And instead following source, following God's guidance and saying, all right, God, I know I'm, I'm able to channel, I'm able to do this, and I know I want to help people. So how do I do that? What is the best way forward? What way forward do you think is best? That's how it's being reflected in my life. Very interesting. Pause for a second. <sighs> itchy nose, y'all. Itchy nose. Okay. Um, I Let's start clarifying. Because really all I want to do is... All I really want to clarify is this Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Four of Swords. Because this is where I currently feel like we are. Trying to make the decision. Trying to really make sure we understand what it is we're being called towards or what it is we're being asked to do. And also figure out how we want to move forward with it, okay? So let's get some clarification on this. I'm going to give this five shuffles. This is... Sorry. This is one. This is two. Two. This is three. I want to make something very clear. It does not matter what path you walk. This is four. Whether it be the path of service to self, the path of service to others, or the path of service to God, it really does not matter. This is five. And there really is no judgment involved in the traditional sense of the word. Keep in mind, guys, that God doesn't judge us. We judge ourselves, okay? So um, regardless as to whatever path you're facing walking right now, um, it doesn't matter. What I'm feeling is coming through for certain individuals in the collective that are resonating with this right now, you're actually starting to have trouble. You're second guessing yourself at this point because you're like, well, I want to walk the path of service to self. Um, does that mean I'm a bad person? No, not necessarily. Uh, you're, 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 you're walking, a you're, to keep in mind that you're walking a path of manipulation. Okay, and you're going to accrue karma surrounding that. There are some of you that are saying, well, I want to walk the path of... I, what I feel like is happening here are people are looking at this path of service to self, path of service to others, or path of service to God, and are thinking, feeling obligated to walk the path of service to God. That is not the case. Okay, that is not the case, you guys. Whatever it is you feel works for you whatever it is you feel res resonates with you whatever it is with is within your heart to move forward with then that is the path for you and you are encouraged to go down that path it is endorsed by god source whatever however you want to say it right 
So don't let the others, the judgment of others or the perception of others to skew what it is you are choosing to do for yourself in your self-development and this time, okay? Excellent. Let's talk about the Ace of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, what clarity can you bring us in terms of this peace spirit? <laughs> There's the King of Pentacles again. That's it? At the bottom of the deck is the two of wands like this and then there's the king of swords at the, underneath the king the five of the two of wands excuse me um what is this king of pentacles please spirit wow you have the sun again and then with that you have strength and the fool Lots of major arcana. We're literally being asked to do things differently now. I just heard the establishment is the old way. King of Pentacles. It's established. Okay, yeah, it's established. We know it works to a certain extent. I'm not getting into that. I'm not getting into that discussion today. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you have the King of Pentacles here. At the bottom of the deck was the Two of Wands, which meant there was a choice. So in terms of making this choice, you have this inspiration. You're trying to move forward. You want to move forward. You know that moving forward is the right thing to do. But how do you move forward? And what I'm hearing is, for some of us, or for most of us, or for all of us, whatever, the message is here that there is an established way, but we are being asked to take a radically different approach. Strength to the fool. Strength is representing taming our egos, because it's our egos that would look at the situation and say, well, why don't we just do it the same old way? We know it works. Now, if you were on the path of service to self, you might go that direction. Again, I don't mean any judgment to anybody. Whatever path you it is you want to walk, that is your decision to make. And it is ordained by God's source creator. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So I'm passing the message. But me personally, I just feel like I would rather educate or get you guys to understand exactly what that means. Okay, because if you're walking the path of service to self, you are most likely going to accrue negative karma. Because in order to really walk that path, in order to really be in that alignment, you're going to have to manipulate people and, and, and go against people's right to free will. And that's, that's some bad karma, guys. Okay. It's going to be a lot harder for you. Okay. It's going to be a lot harder for you to backtrack. And you're not going to be able to walk to, to move past the fifth dimension. Period. Like there's literally a cap there. Because past the fifth dimension is the sixth dimension. And the sixth dimension is all about unity. There is no such thing as separation any longer once you reach the sixth dimension. But if you're walking the path of service to self, then you are identifying with or aligning with separateness because the path of service to self expressly excludes love, which is the glue that keeps everything together. And instead of working towards unity, it works, the path of service to self works towards domination, works with manipulation. And that includes negative karma. There's no, I mean, that's, that's fact. I, I didn't make it up. I didn't do it. I promise. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. So your ego in that sense would say, well, path of service itself, might as well do it the same old way. I know I can make money. I know I can get results that way. Cool. But if that's not you, we're being asked to do something radically different. We're being asked to tame our egos 
and allow ourselves to go in a radically different direction. The Fool. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the sun. And I'm curious, whoa, 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 you guys. You have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the sun is the moon. And underneath the moon is the two of cups to the wheel of fortune to the queen of pentacles. You guys, you guys, this is literally the universe coming forward and saying, we're going to put out this call, this APB, this call to action. And we're going to see who shows up. And then we are going to work. We are going to work with you on an individual basis, because the Two of Cups. It's so crazy, you guys. This is literally this. This is all so much of what I was looking into for myself last night. Okay, I looked into. I, I read more about the Two of Cups because the Two of Cups came out, and I was trying to understand what that meant in terms of this situation outside of a love circumstance, right? And it came down to the fact that the Two of Cups is about a mutual partnership. It's about two individuals that are seeing each other as equals and thus are working together in tandem. Doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, but even, in the, even if it is a romantic relationship, whether it is a romantic relationship or not, it's about two individuals, two separate physical beings coming together and working together as equals equals as peers equally balanced in the situation no one is better than the other so this is not like the type of situation where you have the artist and the muse where the muse is just existing and the artist does all the work no this is a mutual a mutual agreement i just heard a meeting of the minds if you will and so when you answer this call, when you step up to the plate, even though things are not being shown to you exactly as they truly are, I just heard in the future. So you'll understand how, to move, how what it means or what it actually entails in the future. But right now we're asking for this call and we're seeing who's going to show up. And whoever shows up and is honest truly wants to, wants to work with God's source creator, with the universe, the two of cups. The universe is seeing you as an equal and is saying, we will work with your talents, with your God-given ability, what it is you were, what it is you bring to the table. And that will create change, the wheel of fortune. Holy moly, you guys. I do love, though, it's interesting that we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles showing up. Excuse me. Um, the King of Pentacles is showing up twice. The first time it came out, that was in reverse. But now he's come out upright. But I think in terms, what I'm getting here in terms of, because I, I was getting confused. I was kind of asking, like, what does that mean? Because I'm a little confused about it. But the King of Pentacles here in the clarification is upright because we're looking at the King of Pentacles for what it is he represents. And we're analyzing that. We're understanding that so that we can understand how we can move forward differently. Okay. Yes, I hope this, I really hope this is making sense, you guys, but it's like, it's instead of doing things the same old way because you know, it, it, you know, it gets results, catering to your own personal ability, your God-given gift, whatever, tailoring that to you or tailoring, tailoring this experience to you and what it is you are capable of as an individual. What are your strengths? Playing to your strengths what it is you bring to the table, your sense of value. And working with that hand in hand with the universe. Okay. I hope this is making sense, you guys. Excellent. Uh, we're going to close this reading out. We're going to get some Oracle guidance. And I definitely want to work with, I'm, I'm hearing the light worker Oracle. So let's go with that. Yeah. Cool.
I literally, so, so my symptoms, my nose symptoms have shifted. Now it's not my whole nose, but it's this little ridge right here that's itching and it's so annoying. Okay, anyway, <laughs> not gonna let this stop us. We're gonna give this five shuffles. One, two, three, Closing Oracle Guidance for the Collective at this time. This is four. And this is five. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Card number 36. Reassurance of the Golden Light. The golden light comes to you as a gift of grace and reassurance. It is an embrace from the universe, an expression of divine comfort and a sign of hope. When the golden light appears, it is a sign that everything in your life, even the most troubling matters, is going to work out perfectly. They are held in the graceful hand of the divine and will be resolved more swiftly and beautifully than you might expect. Hold on, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's read this part. Perhaps you are struggling with a particularly difficult time in an initiation or a challenging choice it lies before you. Or maybe you have taken a leap and just need to know that you are doing the right thing and somehow, even though you don't feel in control of what is happening, it is going to work out. When the golden light is given to you, it is freely done so as a gift from the heart of the universe. It is letting you know that you are a child of the universe and you are dearly loved. It is reminding you that on the path, the struggle, the struggle to continue with trust, patience, faith, and courage can seem almost overwhelming. However, the universe is with you, supporting, loving, and believing in you every step of the way. You are not alone. You are never forgotten. You are always loved and encouraged to take your journey you are reminded that the universe is smiling upon you. Um, yeah, we're going to stop there. Okay, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>